What is up, everybody? Azariel here, and welcome to an Azariel's taste test that I have one that I have not been excited for for quite some time. Because this time I actually went and got a food item uh, from a place that you know I've heard about a couple times, and I was at Best Buy picking up some things. Um, and I decided that, you know, why don't I go to, to this place called Charlie's Philly Cheesesteaks, which was literally like two yards to the left of Best Buy. So I went in there and I got uh, some food items and I thought I'd try them for the first time because here on Azario's Taste Test, that, that's what I do. I taste things for the first time and I record myself tasting them and I give you and I give you guys my honest opinion as to how I feel, as to how good these items were so what i got was a classic philly cheesesteak um you, you had an option as to whether or not you wanted you wanted it with tomatoes onions yeah. that option whether or not you wanted to get it with tomatoes onions uh to, uh with the tomatoes lettuce onions. i didn't want none of that because i didn't really care for it um i wanted classic philly cheesesteak so i decided to go with the classic because I wanted to see how good their original cheesesteak was before I went and tried anything else. And look at this. It's a mess, but, you know, the smell from this, if only you guys knew. So this is like the original Philly cheesesteak with uh, with cheddar cheese, not cheese sauce, but cheddar cheese. And uh, roasted green peppers and mushrooms and grilled onions. And I uh, also got some bacon cheddar fries, but I don't really care for those right now because I had bacon cheddar. For, well, I'll try them out just for the sake of the video. But all together, this cost me uh, around $14, $14 because it, it's made fresh. Like it, it's made literally fresh right there. Like they, you know, get the meat out. They throw it on the grill. Same thing with the onions. Like they do everything right there. And it's not hidden behind like a bunch of you know, back walls and things like that. No, it's right there where you can see them making everything the way that you asked them to make it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste the, the Philly cheesesteak, give you my honest opinion, and then I'm going to taste the, the, the bacon cheddar fries, the bacon cheddar ranch fries, which are, which they call ultimate fries there. So you know, first off, the smell of this is, dude, I was smelling this on the way home, and I tell you, my mouth has not watered like this in so long. So let me... Get get some of this cheesesteak. Let me taste the cheesesteak by itself. Mm. Oh man, that's fucking good. I'm not even exaggerating, dude. That is. Oh man, that's fucking good. The steak, it literally just like melt in your mouth like that. Like I wonder what kind of steak they use. I don't know if it was ribeye. Or what? But that was fucking delicious. Dude, let me get a big bite of this damn sandwich. Hold on. Let me let me grab this one. This is. Oh, the bread wasn't cut all the way. But nevertheless, let me bite this. Look at that. That that is. Oh my god, that is. Let me. I'm so happy I went here. <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy I went there. That fucking... Let me get some of my water. Hold on. Maybe because I haven't had any cheesesteak in a while, that is, it, oh man, it's doing something to me. I th think I found me a new spot, you know, because when I go to food places that I've never been to, what I try to do, what I try to do is I try to go there and try e e each item, you know, that they have on the menu before I decide that I want to, you know, go there just for one thing. I want to try everything out at once. So this right here is good. 
I'll give it like a four out of five, and I'm gonna tell you why I give it like a four out of five or a four point five out of five. But let me uh try these cheese fries. Uh, so get a little bit of everything. Got bacon. Um, these these fries smell great, by the way. I'm gonna say it like this. Two years ago, as a matter of fact, three years ago, I went to a place called Carl's Jr. and I had their bacon ranch fries. And for those of you who remember that taste test video, go back and watch it. It was funny, but at the same time, those bacon ranch fries was not good at all. These, however, this is the where bacon ranch cheddar fries should taste. I'm gonna say it like that. The fries were made fresh. The bacon actually tastes like bacon. <laughs> it's a good ranch sauce there. It's nice, creamy, got good flavor to it. And, and, the, and the cheese is a, is, a, is a nice such too. Um, but a little bit of black pepper would actually help that out. But that's just my personal preference. As they are, I would say like the bacon ranch fries are like a good... Uh, I would say like a good 3.9 out of 5. I, I would give it that. I wouldn't give it like a complete four. I don't know, it's like a 3.5. Like they're okay. They're not blowing me away, but they're solid. You know, they're solid. But this though, this, this Philly cheesesteak. Oh yeah. You guys get a fucking thumbs up for this shit. Because this is some good shit. So I'm going to back up. And say, I like this. I'm going to go try more things at their restaurant. So, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to eat all of it. Fuck you if you don't like it. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking, man. But, yeah, I'm I'm going to eat this because this is good. Okay? I don't even care. Like this is, this is really good. So, thank you guys for watching. Peace. And I will see you guys next time for another Zara Real Estate Test.